Hi, I'm Alicia Stobie, your Mortgage Millions mentor. Please make sure you click on the subscribe button below and share with your loan officer buddies. And please feel free to put any comments and questions below. I'm happy to answer them. So I want to tell you, what is the number one problem, the number one complaint that realtors have about loan officers? Well, according to Catherine Rain, the number one single KW agent in the entire state of Florida, she says it's the loan officers don't explain their fees. Okay, so if the number one problem that realtors encounter is that loan officers don't explain their fees, what can we do about this? And why is it important? Well, first of all, it's important because if the realtor is frustrated with the loan officer, what do you think the chances are that you're going to get more referrals from that realtor? Pretty slim. How do we want to build our business? Do we want to pay for leads and call a million people and maybe get some to originate and maybe some to close, even less to close? Or do we want an endless stream of incoming referrals from realtors and other strategic business partners? I built my business on referrals and it's, uh, it's easy to do if you follow the right systems in place. So that's what I'm going to talk with you about. So it's important because if you overcome this, then you can get these referrals much easier and much more often. So sometimes the loan officers don't even realize that the realtors have a challenge with them. Let's just say it's a new realtor and they don't know how to approach you. Or let's just say it's a new a realtor who you have a new relationship with and they were giving you a shot. They may not even feel like it's worth it. If they have other lenders that they're comfortable with and they gave you a chance and you're not explaining or there's any kind of problem with your performance with their clients, sometimes they don't say anything. They just don't send you any more referrals and you wonder, why did I just get that one deal? We closed on time. I thought I did a good job. If you're not following up with the realtor and asking for that feedback, you may not get it. Some of them will be vocal and complain, which is fine because I would rather have the feedback and a chance to course correct before the transaction is closed. But not everybody's psychic, right? I, I, I don't know what I don't know. So the number one complaint that I've gotten is uh, not me, but, um, and I actually have gotten this complaint once a few years ago. I got the complaint that uh, the client really didn't understand the process. Um, so honestly, this is a mistake I made. And it turned the, the client was not a first time home buyer. He was a divorced uh, man. And I didn't realize it. So he was buying another house. He got divorced and he bought another house. And what I didn't realize is that his wife had taken care of everything for the first house. So even though technically he wasn't a first time home buyer, he kind of was because he didn't understand the process at all. And he didn't vocalize to me that he was frustrated during the process. It was only afterwards. And so shame on me, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm human. I'm not perfect. So I could have done better there. And that's one more reason why now, I ask every single week of the client when I'm asking if they have any other questions, do they understand everything in the process, where we are right now, what's going to happen next, what already happened. And I'm asking them for a referral. If they say, yes, 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 I understand. I'm happy. Yes, I understand what, what, what just happened, where we're going. If they say yes, 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 then I ask them for a referral. So it's a great opportunity. Um, and that's you know, for another lesson, there's specific language that you can use and change when asking for referrals. So it's happened to me. Like I said, it's been a few years and I course corrected. Um, but that's how we learn. You know, when you're a kid and you make mistakes as a baby, you, you know, you're learning to walk, you trip and fall, you get up, you try it again. So, I mean, loan officers, you know, this isn't a science. It's pretty close once you get these systems in place. So you don't make those uh, mistakes. But learn from my mistakes and don't make them and go make more money. So um, that's why it's in, it, it, it just comes up and people don't always vocalize what the issue is. 
So you want to be proactive and asking them. So first of all, when you do um, ask them, be prepared to hear it. And don't take it personally as an insult because it's not. And you ask them. So leave the door open for them to say whatever they want to say. And write it down. And then learn from it and incorporate it in your weekly process or daily process of how you do follow up with your clients. So as I mentioned, that's one thing we do is our team asked, do you have any other questions? Like just, and you can do it any step of the way, right? 